Hi there. So let's just say you've got your board, you've named it, okay, to whatever it is that you want to name it. Um, and they're like, okay, so what should I do next to make sure everything's ready for the students? So you have a couple of things, okay? So where your amazing faces, okay, or whatever your little avatar is, you can click on there. Um, and it has a few different options, like you can lock the class, lock the page, follow the teacher, create a chat, create a group board, lots of different things here. So creating a chat enables you to um, have a little private chat with the students. Okay, um, lock class means that they can't actually do anything. <laughs> um, follow teacher means that they can only progress when you progress through the pages. Okay, you create group boards for students to work together on. All right, so lots of bits and pieces in there. The big thing that you'll look at though is probably the settings. Okay, so if you click on the settings, cog next to the invite, you can decide on what the default tool is for the class. So when they get in, what's the tool that they're going to be automatically using? So you've got these three different options. So if it's something that they're going to be like drawing a lot, so maybe have brush as the default tool, but if they're going to be adjusting lots of things, you can maybe have move and resize, okay? Or you might be using select. It really doesn't matter. I mean, you can just think about it. Students can always change the tool that they're using, but that's just the one that they have once they get into your board. Now, the default screen size, you can think about, for example, if your students are using iPads, maybe you want to set it for this because that will give you the guideline as to how big the screen is for them. Or maybe you're using, like the kids are using a Chromebook. So again, it will have like a guideline for how big the, co the Chromebook screens are. Okay, you've got a couple of other options there just to keep that in mind. You also have different fonts. Okay, again, there's a default fonts. Okay, the font for the text box. Okay, once they get in, if they're typing, they can choose, well, you can choose um, what font they should be using. Then we have a lot of different types of tools here for the students. Okay, you can say that they see simple tools or very simple tools. Depends on what you want um, to be available to the kids. Because by default, they can access basically anything. They can have all the drawing tools, all the different media tools, whatever it is that you like, unless you restrict these, okay? Um, but it's totally up to you, okay? You can change them during the session as well, so that maybe at the start, they only have these four tools, but maybe you want them to have other tools afterwards, so you can undo that. This one, only logged in users can join the board. Now, I recommend clicking on this just because when students join in, if they're just joining as a guest, they just need to put their name in. And if you have, for example, two Kellys and they both get in, they're going to be on the same board instead of their own individual board. So having like only logged in users can join board as a default. Okay, that, that just forces the login and, and um, eliminates the issue of students accidentally being on each other's boards. You do have a new option called dark mode if you prefer the dark mode rather than the white, okay? And if you click on more settings, you can customize the tools for students so you can decide which ones you don't want them to have. So maybe you don't want them to have a bunch of them. You can say, okay, I want to toggle all, so I don't want them to have any, but actually, okay, maybe I do want them to have the select tool. Whatever it is that you want, okay? That's it's up to you. All right, let me just get back into settings. So it's about all the tools. You've got a bazillion different things here, okay? Um, lots of different options, whether you want students to be able to add pages or not, um, that when you're showcasing the boards, they can't draw on them. Um, if you want them to be able to record uh, video rather than just audio, if you want to make sure the students can enter text in the text box, you can highlight this. Um, you've got options for speech to text. Um, if you don't want immersive reader to be around, there's a lot of different things here. Okay, so you can decide on all of these things before the students even start. Okay, but again, you can alter these throughout the lesson. That's fine. Okay, but it is good to have a look at, you know, what are the things that you want the students to have access to to start off with. All right, and then when you're ready, you can just press save and that will save the settings for the board. All right, so hopefully that's helpful. Those are the things that you should look at when you are setting up your board to start off with. All right, bye for now.